I think Ed Rice is a great addition to the San Antonio Aviation Hall of Fame. He's a 1978 graduate of the United States Air Force Academy. At the age of nine or 10, I decided I wanted to go to the Air Force Academy. I wanted to fly airplanes and sort of never wavered from that. And so it was that sort of, I think, early dream aspiration that I had that sort of got me on the path. He rose to the level of being a four-star general. Not an easy thing to do, obviously. Uh, but he's way more accomplished than just his Air Force career. He's also a graduate of the JFK School at Harvard. He's uh, been a White House fellow. That's a very prestigious appointment. The list goes on and on in terms of what he's done. Once I got into the Air Force, I, it, was just a, it was just a good fit for me and really never wanted to do anything different. Where I first got to know Ed was when we were both uh, appointed to the mayor's airport systems committee. Uh, so we were talking about the future of the San Antonio International Airport. For somebody who has not been in commercial aviation, he understood it extremely well. Uh, I'm sure from his time in the Air Force, negotiating the complexities of various types of aircraft in a crowded airspace, he understood it very well and he always had, was on point talking about the future of the airport. Well, no one uh, achieves success by themselves and, and so the, the list is extremely, extremely long for me. General B.O. Davis Jr who was the first African-American general in the Air Force, whom I had the honor to meet uh, when I was still a cadet. General Chappie James, who was the first black four-star general, who again, I met at the academy. So in a very impressionable time in my career, I met two giants, quite frankly, in the Air Force who had sort of uh, started down the road that I was going to go down in my life and had sort of blazed a, a path that made my journey a lot easier. And he's a quintessential example of still waters are underneath. So when he's speaking, you better listen because his comments are profound, uh, on point, and you're going to learn something. Dream big. It's, it's a good time when you're young <laughs> to have dreams. It gets a little uh, more difficult when you get older. And go for it. Don't be afraid to, to think about what you want to do and, and try it. The, the worst thing that can happen is you don't make it. But if you don't ever try, you'll never have a chance. I think General Rice is the quintessential example of integrity. He is extremely honest. He is dedicated, he's a patriot, and one of the most generous people I've ever met with his uh, time, talent, and treasure. It's a great honor. Um, not something I'd anticipated. Uh, very grateful um, for, for my name being even mentioned with, I know some of the past and present awardees. When I was a young officer, uh, a much older officer, doesn't seem so old to me now, but said, you know, when you get to a certain point in life, if you can't look back on your life and have a really tall stack of accomplishments that you've been very proud of, then you will have a hollow feeling inside. And as I get to the point in my life where I've got less runway ahead of me than I have behind me, uh, those words really ring true to me. So I think this honor, quite frankly, sort of goes into that stack of accomplishments that really give you uh, a sense of uh, uh, meaning to your life, quite frankly.